Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Dom and welcome to today's video where I'm going to be showing you one of my favorite ways to generate HTML elements using JavaScript, all right? Now, is this technique the best way to do it? Possibly, but it's certainly convenient and I'm going to be showing you why it's convenient right after I demonstrate, of course, how to do this, all right? So, we have this script tag right down here. So the first step is going to be to define a function which is going to take in an HTML string to, of course, generate an element from. All right, so right here, I'm going to say function. I'll call this function here element from HTML. So this is going to take through, like I just mentioned, an HTML string just like that. And then we're going to be using a template element to essentially take the HTML. We're going to be injecting it into the template and then return the first child of the templates document fragment. All right, so sounds a bit complex, but it's actually really straightforward. So the first line inside this function here is going to be a new constant called template. We're going to say this is going to be equal to document.create element right here. We're going to be creating a new template element. So um, of course, the template element is going to be used to store HTML as a template, which you can then, of course, uh, use later on. So that's exactly why we're going to be using the template element right here. Then down below, we can simply say template.innerHTML is going to be equal to the HTML which you pass in dot trim. All right. So here we're taking through the HTML and we're shaving off the, the actual white space on the left and right side of your string. This is so we don't have white space entering um, our inner HTML. Okay. And the last step here is going to be to simply return uh, template.content.first element child. Now, you may wish to use the first child instead, um, but I prefer to use the first element child since this right here is actually going to allow the function here to, uh, well, sort of allow the text editor VS Code in this case know that it's going to you know it's going to give you an element which means if I was to then use this we're going to get uh you know tool tips and pop-ups um for the actual autocomplete so more on that later on we have now defined this function right here so it's going to be very straightforward to create elements using this function going inside the browser right here I'll now just simply refresh open up the console and I'm going to say something like const uh, my list is equal to, and I'm going to be using the element from HTML method right here and passing in uh, uh, JavaScript template strings so we can use a multi-line string just like this. We can now enter in a new UL just like this, and we can simply uh, create here um, a couple of list items or maybe just one uh, list item inside here, something like this. All right, and I can just hit enter and now we can see uh, my list is going to be equal to a unordered list element right here. We've taken the HTML string and of course converted it into an HTML element within JavaScript, which means I can now say document.body.appendChild as an example and simply pass through here the list just like that. Now, the main benefit of using this technique here is that we have a single function which is going to take the HTML and actually give us an HTML object, okay? Now, this is important because with an HTML object, we are then able to do things such as access the class list, we can add event listeners, we can set attributes really easily, uh, we can set text content without having to worry about uh, escaping HTML. There's heaps of benefits with doing this. Okay, um, as opposed to doing like an inner HTML or an insert address in HTML, those are fine, but you have to then select that uh, element in order to get back your actual object right here. So it's a one liner to give you an object. All right. Now, going back inside the text editor real quick, I want to show you what I was talking about, um, about this uh, return type of element. So now, of course, now that it's returning an element right here, or VS Code knows that based on this property right here, we can now say something like const my, uh, my list equal to, I'll just copy the same uh, string used earlier on, so this one right here. 
We can also see that by using the trim, we're removing the white space like the new line character and this extra white space right here. So that's a benefit. Um, so dropping down here, we're going to say, you know, element from HTML, pass in the multi-line string right here, just like this. And now we can see if I was to say my list and then dot, okay, here we go, my list dot, we have all of the properties and methods available to an element. So just helps you with, uh, of course, using uh, the function or using the result element after using the function. So that right there is one of my favorite ways to generate uh, HTML elements using JavaScript. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video and you learned something. If you did, drop a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.